Hi. <clears throat> We're back. I'm Mayo, your art teacher. We're doing the third lesson, the four horses of the apocalypse today. And today we're adding the fighting angels. And they'll be carried by blackbirds, my favorite. We have everything here we need. The palette today consists of your warm colors, burnt sienna, raw umber, yellow ochre, flesh, a little bit of red, cool colors on the other side of the palette. We have our cobalt, our very dark black ivory, and our titanium white. So this is the palette today. And we're going to start by putting in the angels. We are using glaze again. It's the, again, alkoid, alkyoid glazing medium, ready to use. And we're dipping our brush in a little bit of turpentine and then the glaze. I'm going to try to get out of your view here. There we go. We're going to start with the babies. They are angels. I did chalk a little bit in. Remember, a baby's head is rather large, and they're warriors. They're angels and they're warriors. We're going to the flesh tone, putting in the arm, the head, the back, Babies have large, very large, a lot of rolls. We all know that. They're beautiful for that reason alone. Like little cherubs. We're going to put that down. Using very tiny brushes today. You can see it. And we're going to put the blackbird in. I have a couple of references of blackbirds, so I think on this one, he's going to be flying another way. Not sure I like that one, but I like this one. He's carrying, so I'm using my bird book, and I'm going to put the bird in. His wings. Very long one here. This tip right here. They go shorter as they go out. And like that. A little bit more glaze. So let's look at it like this. And we're going to do this part of the bird. Where it turns in. And all the way to here. And let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about a 12 wings hanging. So we're going to do 1, 2, and they shorten 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Baby sitting here. First here. And then we're going to put the bird in. So I'm going to, baby is sitting here and the bird wing is over here. And it goes back. Long first. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, a little bit of glaze. We'll leave that gray showing. The baby is sitting on the bird. Or, excuse me. The cherub. Then we're going to turn him this way a little bit. So we're going to put this part here, the back of the bird, and of course the wing. I'm dipping in glaze again. Then we're going to go back. Let's see here. 
I'm going to make the bird's tail, dip in a little turpinoid, bring it back some more. And then we got the baby sitting on the bird. Here, I'm going to put the head right about here. And he's riding the bird. And there's the arm. Got a good tip on this brush. Good. And he's going to be holding on here. And here. So I'm putting the bird in. A little bit of the white. You can just make those wings turn. Like that. And here. Nice and slow. This is our details. Back into the black ivory. We'll just do the glaze too. It keeps the colors. So it's workable when you have the glaze. See? A little bit more white here. Slow. I like this wing here. And here. And here, and here, and we have this part of the wing that extends out. Like that, rinse our little brush off, and then we're going to put the baby in. We're dipping in a little bit of the yellow ochre, and... The raw sienna. We're going to put the leg here as it goes back here. Now the glaze, if you notice, I'm looking at the bird at the same time. I'll put the bird book down now. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back in with the flesh tone and bring his hip up and then his leg down in here. Probably going to bring his back up and then the heads here. Babies have big heads. We're going to put the leg here. So I am going to reposition her. So we're going to take a little bit of the black, ivory black and the titanium and reposition her arm, the baby's arm, and the neck and the shoulder. Clean it off a little. We have a little baby here I was using because I love, look at that. <laughs> it's a good reference. <laughs> don't think I'm crazy. I am. You don't have to think I'm crazy. I am crazy. So we're going to put in the black here and the head here. So it just the glazing liquid helps you. It's a mix. It's a workable medium. So you can work. We're going to put this back in the turpinoid and clean that. And then we'll just come in here and just blend a little bit. We have a sword here, but we necessarily don't need it. I'll blend into the horse here a little bit. And I got the top of the bird's head pretty good. So now I'll just put in the leg Put that back into the turpinoid for a second. Clean your brush. Go back into the clean glaze and get some more of that flesh tone. And we're going to look at this little guy here. So we have a thigh here, the knee, the leg, and the foot. The bird's carrying her. A little bit more of the glazing medium. Put these colors in. And the foot. More glazing medium to keep those colors separated. A little bit of the yellow ochre. The raw sienna. I'm going to put the arm up like this. Like that. A little bit more glazing liquid. Put it right in there. 
We're going to make that back more like this. And the head bigger. Like that. But we can just move this. Take another brush I have here and just swipe that out a little bit. And back. Get two. Don't mind that part. We'll keep that brush for swiping. We'll put our little angels in. So I'm going to take this cleaner brush that's sitting in the turpenoid waiting for me. We're going to go back to the flesh tone and a little bit of the yellow ochre. And we're going to put in the fighting arm. Back into flesh tone. And then the head. But the head's going to be looking up. So I wanted to change that position as you saw before. And make the head looking up. We won't have to worry about the other arm now. So if we want the head looking up, get that other brush out of your turpenoid, go back into your ivory black, and make it look more like that. See how you can work that? So we're getting a cherub, angel, baby into the picture. I'm putting on a little titanium white for the back of the head right now. Go in your glaze. It keeps the oils workable so you can spread your colors over wet colors. I think two days ago I did this already and uh, it was um, it was actually the first day of fall, the 23rd. So today, I believe it's the 25th. Get his big leg in there, a little foot just a cherub so I want him very very dipping there again the glaze and the turpentine I just want him very the construction of a baby we'll put his little hand in now we're gonna put in a little bit of burnt sienna the red brown for the tush the fat back babies have fat backs we have the hip here. Now if we dip in our, right into our medium, our glaze, we can do the little bit of the shadows we need. They have round, roly-poly necks. Dip right back into the burnt sienna. A little bit here. So we have one cherub angel baby fighting the horses that are up above. I put a little titanium white here. We'll probably put some back in here. Now go back into the glaze. Don't forget the glaze keeps it workable. I'm going to do a little bit of the yellow ochre with a flesh tone and a little bit of the titanium white. Again dip in the glaze. I'm sorry, glaze. So welcome back. Today is the 25th of September. Fall is here. And there's our cherub. If anything, I go back in the glaze with a little highlight of white. Put the baby in. Big tush. Baby said those beautiful round tushes. And they have that fat on their back. I love it. Who doesn't love a baby, right? And then looking up for the fight. Even if we went a little bit like that. Then I'm going to put that brush into the turpenoid bottle. Go back into the nice ivory black. And just put some of this in underneath. My favorite are blackbirds. So we're doing our blackbirds today. We'll fix that wing a little bit. A little bit more feeling here. I love blackbirds. And then back into the glaze with a little bit of the black. So we can keep this going on the tail. And a little here. A longer one there. Yeah. 
nice feeling in the blackbird. Let's clean this brush, drop it into the turpenoid, swipe it clean, go back into the ivory black, and just add a little bit more here. I'm on an angle, so bear with me. Painting straightforward is a lot easier than on an angle, but we have to do what we have to do if we're taking a video of our painting. There we go. I think maybe I'm going to come here. You're going to see the back of my head because I don't want, I want to see this and straighten out the wing a little bit. Here. And down. One blackbird fighting. Clean up a little bit here. Now that's one cherubim. So we'll leave him. If anything, I was going to maybe dip in my glaze here, go back into the flesh tone, a little yellow ochre and a tiny bit of white. Maybe we will put the other arm in like this. Watch out, you don't want to pick up the black tones. Um, the old Italian way, Da Vinci and the Masters, they put green down. Uh, chromium green and um, uh, uh, chromium oxide green, very expensive, and they use lead white. Well, of course, we don't use that anymore, lead white. But here we have the baby, a little bit. I'm going to go into the raw sienna a little bit and the burnt sienna, a little bit of the brown for the back one. And just put this one in because what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a spear the baby holding a spear well we don't have to do that now we're going to put the next blackbird in so go clean, keep your three brushes in a nice container this is actually um spice container and I just put turpenoid in there so I can keep the brushes clean as I go back and forth with the details so I'm going to put another blackbird in. So everything is facing left on this particular. So let's look at another photo here and see if we can get one facing the opposite way. I always use references. It's hard when you, I mean, some people naturally know bird structure, but I don't study birds all the time. So we're going to put one, we got to think of our composition. So I'm going to put one here. Bear with me. can use the chalk on this one. I think here we're going to put one. And the wings will go like that here. Here we're going to put the off the page. And here we're going to do shorter. It's about 10. And... We're going to put another baby here. This cherub baby is going to be fighting as usual. On the bird. This is how we're going to put this one, I think. Maybe a little bit like this. We'll see. Let's try it. Can't get it in because it's a little. So I'm going to go back into the glaze a little bit. First put the baby in. See if I can get him in with his big head. Put his back in. His arms. Fat. Back fat. Leg. One leg going this way. He's sitting sideways. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. And his leg is here. So we're going to put dip into the turpenoid again. Get a little bit of the titanium white. Make sure you have that glaze medium on so we both can work on this oil painting today. There's his back. There's the baby's head. And there's the arm. This one's going to be holding a spear too, so he's fighting. They're fighting the four horsemen. These are angels. These are my interpretation. A little bit more glaze of angels. Baby got a fat back, an arm here, an arm here. Make the head a little bigger. That always gives it a baby feeling. And the fat arms. So, and then we have the leg. I wouldn't too worry too much about the leg. Probably put the foot like that, a little foreshortening. There's our second baby in our bird. 
little bit more. I dipped and cleaned in the terpenoid and I put in a little flesh tone. Don't forget, put dip in your medium so you can get this cherub in here. Arm, shoulder, head, and the other arm. And this is a little bit of a foreshortening here, so. There we go. We have another baby. Foot, leg, tush. There we go. The medium helps. So we have another bird. I'm sorry. Another baby <laughs> on a black bird, my favorite bird. We're going to go and get a clean brush with a point and put our blackbird in. I might adjust it a little bit because of the head. I want the head to show here. The beak. And then we're going to change the wing pattern because I want it here. A little bit off. It's okay. Bring it off. We don't have to show this part because of the baby's foot. The baby's foot's going to be there. If you know anything about birds I watch them a lot but they do have that shoulder here so I wanted to put that shoulder in here behind the baby's foot maybe and pointing out the longest feather is here so we're gonna put the baby's tush here then we're gonna go to this side and put the shoulder in so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So basically, we have our second black bird. We're going to shorten the tail a little bit and the bird. He's flying this way. That's another warrior, another angel warrior on this bird carrying the cherub angel. Favorite black bird. Watch what I'm doing. Okay. Another one. Warriors. I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to bring this wing over. Yeah. There you go. Big tushy on that bird. Go back into a little bit of that white. All right, so now we have two black birds and two angels. I'm going to move it a little bit up like that. Put it back in. Turpinoy, get my other brush. See if we have this anatomically correct. We should dip in your medium. You should have a nice thigh here coming up. And of course, the leg and the toes. So we might put a little bit more black in there. So far, so good. Put it back into the turpenoid, that brush. Go back in for the black. And just, because it is a thigh, we're going to bring it like that. So we're going to bring this part out. Hide that part. And bring that thigh like that. And that's okay. Probably going to go like that. Yeah. All right. We'll fix that. Adjust it. We're going to put wings on too. So right now we'll just get the babies in. I'm sorry. The angels. A little bit of spread here. A little bit lighter. I'm going to put it on heavier here. And we're going to soften. Right now, I'm not shading as much as I'm getting them in. So I'm just going to thin out some of the paint with the corner of this brush, as you can see. Get that baby in. And what we do need to do... Uh oh, hot dog. We need to change this blackbird because the butt's going to be here. On this one, see? And then we'll just go like that for that one. Okay. 
here too. Flat and up and here for the thigh. There you go. We're going to put wings on the back too. We can always adjust things. That's what's great about oils. Let's go back into our medium here. And I think maybe bring that butt out. And then soften. Just as long as we get them in a little bit right now. All right. Let's check this out. A little glaze. I think we're going to extend the body here and the butt. Yeah, I like that. And change that. So here we go again. But it's okay. I wanted to change it. I'm putting some ivory back. We can only do so much with that bird underneath. So clean your brush. Swipe it clean. Dip it in the glaze. Go back into the titanium white. Go back into the flesh tone. Put a little bit of that yellow ochre in. I like the baby's pink. That's why I'm using the flesh tone. But typically I don't use flesh tones. And we should call them angels because that's what they are now. And I like babies to be a little bit of pink because they are pink. So that's why I'm using a flesh tone instead of mixing my tones today. And that's okay. So we have two babies and two blackbirds. This one's in the foreground. It's bigger. And that one's a little bit back. So that's good. Put it back in your terpenoid to sit. That's my glaze. We're going to put another baby and bird in. I think here let's take the black and let's make this one here and here we'll do it like that and then the tail He's going to be a little smaller. We're going to put the baby in now. So I'm going to go back into the glaze medium so we can work this. It does take about a week for a oil to dry completely. That's why I like this glaze medium for oils. It helps you work. We're going to put the baby in now. Um, I think standing. I think I like the fact that she's going to be standing. So watch. Big head. Babies have big heads. And of course, maybe too big of a head. Um, we might take a little out, so let's do this. If you're watching, go back in with a little bit of that black and glaze. It's actually the purple, so let's take our happy index finger. Dip it in some turpenoid index fingers. Thank God for them. And let's just take out this part a little bit here. And that part a little bit. We're going to backtrack here. Just going to shorten it a little bit. And then I'm going to do this. Go back in. Chubby baby. Fighting baby, or I'm sorry, we have to call them angels. They're angels, lady. Yep. They're angels. And this is the back, so I'm not sure if I'm going to give it a face here. Maybe I will, or maybe show the back. I kind of like it standing back, so I'm going to put it like this. There's little feet here for now. Dip in your glaze, rumpus, legs. I'm going to go like that on that leg. Yeah. A little bit here. Stomach. Arm. Chubby arms. Babies. Angels. Chubbies. And here. I like this one. So now we have three angels. I dipped in the glaze again to keep it workable.
me chubby butt foot so let's go in here a little bit more flesh for the butt but sticking out here and the knee it's probably going to be like that there we go this one's standing on the bird I'll go back into the turpanoid and get a brush that's clean dip into the black and take it out here Got to put a separation in there, right? Chubby butt in here. We're going to break this out a little bit more. Put his foot sideways and sideways here, and there's the bird. This is a standing angel, if you can see, on our blackbird. Dip for some, and then we're just going to put that tail here. I think I'll just take that part out here, but that's okay. I don't mind. You can reverse like this. Just take a little bit of the turpanoid. Reverse. And I want the wing to go another way. He's standing up, and I'm going to take this part off. I want the wing here, maybe even shorter or longer because he's flying up. So it will probably change that. I don't mind. And here, here. maybe here because he's flying up. So we go back in. And I'm slowly going around that foot of the cherub. And in here, and we're going to put the wings in. I think here, we'll just go like that. Here, I think we'll show a little bit of contrast and show the bird's head and the beak pointing up. Maybe take out a little bit here flying up you can always take out so I just take my index finger again I dip a little in the turpanoid and I think I'm going to reverse this a little and make the wing go that way see how I can do that that looks better and like that take out a little bit here that does look better see Going to the black. 